waiting for waiting for our little show that really gives us some good feels and makes us feel good and uh, lets us know we're doing what we should be doing. Uh, start off, let's start off. You know me, but anyone that's joining for the first time, I'm Frosty from Frosty Eye Candy and welcome to The Joy of Pouring. Quick introduction to the team. I have Christy in my ear hole. She is in uh, the Illinois area and is our US, uh, US base uh, in the live chat there. She also has our fantastic, lovely B Bridget, who is in Alberta, who is another Canadian base along with I. And then we have our beloved Wombat, AKA Darren, who's in the live chat as well. Bless him, he gets up super early every Monday morning so he, uh, so he can do the show here with us. Um, this is why we turned the uh, ch we changed the show time to 2 p.m. Just so it's a little bit easier for those in Australia. It's kind of first thing in the morning and not twilight before the dawn's even happened. But anyway, those are the introductions. While we're just waiting for a few more people to join, I am going to give a sh oh we forgot I forgot one of my co-hosts. <gasps> I'm so sorry, G. <laughs> we also have G from G Pours, who is our illustrious leader in the group on Facebook, Acrylic Pouring for Beginners. Uh, he is also in the chat room and again they are there to help moderate the chat and answer any questions you might have and uh, they can funnel any questions to me through the earpiece because I haven't got a super pro set up yet I haven't got another screen where I can see the chats coming up while the camera's up like now I can see that Michelle is here Phoenix Fro Flow Art Luciana hi Luciana thank you for joining us Rosemary hi Rosemary I said I was going to give you a shout out and while we're just yes G pause, ha ha ha, I'm here buddy. Sorry G, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so while we're doing the shout outs, I've got to give some shout outs too. And it's a bit of a list, but we're gonna get through them quickly at the beginning and then everyone's happy. Apologize, apologies if I've missed anyone, okay? But shout out to Brad from Lost Key Art. We've already heard from Michelle from Phoenix Flow Art. Shout out to Britt, of course, Brett Clayton from Brick Clayton Designs. Shout out to Sheldon from Sheldon Briscoe Designs. Shout out to Shannon from Shan B. Shout out to Kath from Canberra. Michelle, I've got Michelle twice, so that's three times now. Michelle from Phoenix Flow. Hi there, Michelle. Uh, another shout out to Amber, Erin, Suzanne, Joanne, Janice, Seth, who's back in the group on uh, Acrylic Pouring. Hi, Seth, welcome back. A shout out to Danny Troop and Rosemary, because I already said hi, Rosemary, I saw you say hello. And last but not least, Pam Jolly. Hi there, Pam. Anyone else I've missed out? <gasps> George Ann, I've missed you. Hi, George Ann. Sorry. There's Janice. Hi, Janice, you got your shout. So brilliant. Anyone that I missed, I'm very sorry. But um, if it means a lot to you, please put it in the live chat and Christy can relay it to me and I'll give you a shout out. OK, so thanks, everybody, for joining us. So let's just do the first things first. Uh, a shout out to Betty Moore. Betty Moore, we've tried contacting you, my dear. You are the winner of this canvas from uh, the JOP number three. Um, please get in contact with us if you would like your prize. That's Betty Moore. Now, right, now we're just going to move on real quickly uh, to the next week, uh, this last week, <laughs> next week, this week, last week's canvas giveaways, okay? So the winner is of the last week's canvas giveaway, giveaways, and they are right in front of me, right here. Here we go, here's the uh, beginner swipe we did, and then here's the uh, bloom we did, trying to get nice depth to our pause and everything. These are from JOP4. And the winner is, the winner is drum roll. You're just gonna have to imagine a drum roll. Unless, thank you very much, Vanna is the drum roll. The winner is, <laughs> go Vanna, Christy says. <laughs> nice one, thank you, Vanna. Uh, the winner is Danny Troop. So Danny, I believe it's a girl because it's with an I, so Danny Troop. If you're watching, hi there, Danny, you have won. Here we go, boom, boom, these two pieces. Please get in contact with us. We'll try and get in contact with you. We'll get your address. We'll have these packaged off and we'll have them sent off to you. And the new thing that we're doing now is we're just gonna have one winner for last week's canvases because um, it was a bit difficult with two different postage costs uh, and also hard to get hold of people and they didn't know they've won, like I just mentioned, Betty before. So we're just gonna do one winner, okay? So that's Danny Troop. There we go, Danny. We shall get in contact with you and send you your canvases. And while we're still doing last week's canvases, let's just do 
Where have I put them? Ah, let's do that as well, shall we? We'll get the last week's canvases out the way. So these two, dun, 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 dun. look at them with a coat of resin. Look at the water dragon there. I really pleaded with Vanna, really pleaded with Vanna so I could keep the water dragon, but Vanna's like, no, no, the deal is you give them away. You give them away, Frosty. So here's the little water dragon. Yeah, like I threw a coat of resin on him and he's absolutely gorgeous. A uh, little bit dirty on the back, I'm sorry, but yeah, J-O-P number five. So you can win this one. And the uh, Frosty Mods, how we do our nice Frosty mod Modifications, this canvas too, can be yours. Both of them, both of them can be yours. If you please watch video number 11. In, on my YouTube channel, okay? It's an acrylic bloom. Uh, the little uh, picture is a green and gold bloom. If you'd please watch that in its entirety. If you've already watched it or you don't want to watch it and you want to go in for the competition, uh, just press play on your phone or your tablet, whatever, and then walk away. And the uh, key to entering the competition, of course, is comment and the word we all love, love, okay? So that's video number, just double checking again my notes. Video number 11, it's an acrylic bloom. It's a green and gold acrylic bloom. So watch that please in its entirety and comment love. And you can win these two canvases. So let's see if our numbers now hugely drop because we've already done the competitions. <laughs> right. Anyway, one second please friends. Oh dear, it's very, very funny. Right, just having a look again, 39 people, Christy's giggling in my ear. Hi, Leslie, hello, I just saw... <laughs> Stop it, Christy, because if you, you start, then I start, and then we're all starting and it's just a silly laughing mess. No, you don't have to apologise, I'm joking. Okay then, friends. So, that's all the um, last week's canvases and obviously the dried results of last week's canvases because they'd already been resin, so... That's that already done. So let's get on with the beginner part of the show. Oh, hang on, before we commence with that, can we just say, everybody that's uh, more interested in the latter half of the show, the more experienced uh, pourers amongst us, it is free and open to you guys, the last portion of this show. So please comment in the live chat there, say anything that you would like some help with. And the main kind of topics that are generated, if enough people say, I don't know, swipes or transparencies again or whatever, but you guys are going to be able to choose. So please don't go too mad and bombard our poor co-hosts in the live chat. But if you could just, yes, if, you, if there's something particular, a particular question or something particular you guys would like to work on, now is your time to say so in the chat. I can see the chat is going pretty quickly now. I think it's just hellos. Hi. Hi, Nicola Wilkinson. Hayley. Hi, Hayley. Just, you're, yeah, just disappeared away right there. So yes, please leave a uh, comment in the chat and the guys are going to go through them, relay them to me and whatever is the most popular thing we're going to do in the second half of the show. So on with the first half and the first half as it says in the title is to spin or not to spin. We're going to see the, adv the advantages to spinning a piece rather than tilting a piece because I'm sure a lot of you already know and can guess that from tilting your piece you kind of um, you, you can warp it a little bit but when you spin your piece it evenly grows and spins out this way uh, and we're going to do some tests now with two identical pores on two identical canvases one is going to be tilted and the excess tipped off and the other one we're going to spin and then we're going to compare the two and decide which one we like the most because I guess a lot of beginners don't have a spinner and one second not going to lose me I'm just literally coming here into one of the art stashes. Here we go. And we have bum, ba, da, ba, Frosty's first spinner. These are <laughs> Christy's already laughing in my ear. Ouch. Oh, I just hit my knuckle on the table and that really hurt. Anyway, Frosty's first spinner. This is one of the plastic ones from Amazon. Um, they're totally awesome, they're great. But as you can hear, they do make they do make a little bit of noise, don't they, Christy? Um, but yes, this is my old spinner. I've now got a nice one from Amazon, one of the aluminium aluminium ones. 
uh, and that works really great. But I figured, well, I've got this. My spinner is never going to break unless I jump on it or something like that. So I figured we could give this away as part of a little competition. We haven't quite figured out all the details of the competition, so it's not going to be set this week, but it will be set next week. So we're going to have a little competition for Frosty's old first spinner because I'm sure lots of you beginners don't have a spinner. And again, I'm going to urge the beginners or, you know, the more, the more experienced of us that already have a spinner or can afford to buy one, please kind of leave the competition open for those that could really, those that need it, not those that want it. I'm sure we all understand each other, guys. So anyway, that little competition will be set next week. Uh, it's going to be the spinner. Uh, probably a Frosty Eye Candy canvas or two. And maybe a pigment or two. I don't know. Ooh, Christy's going, ooh, in my ear. Because I didn't tell them about this bit. I don't think. I'm not too sure. Oh, no, she says, no, no, you didn't. <laughs> anyway, so we are going to get the camera pointing down. I'm going to carry Chitty on Chitty Chat, Chitty Chat Chat, and we're going to mix up some colours, okay, guys? Brilliant. Right. Da, 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 da. Bingo. Let's just make sure that's nice and straight. Excellent. What's going on, darling? Are they being funny in the chat or. <laughs> yeah. Right, Christy is just talking in my ears, guys. Um, and something I really want to do when we can get a better setup is have the co-hosts in little screen in screens here. So we can, so you guys can actually hear what Christy is saying to me as well. I think that would be really great and get the, get the show, Com completely interact with everyone. Yeah, what do you think, Christy? You see, again, I haven't said this idea to them yet and Christy's going, whoa, <laughs> but it, it would be really great. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, Christy. She's saying I've thrown all sorts of stuff at her, but yes, this is obviously plans and dreams of, you know, further down the road with the show. So it can be far more amusing and interactive because these, these guys in the chat room are just amazing. But anyway, let's get on with mixing some paint. So we've been mixing the paint up, um, two parts flow troll to one part paint. So I was putting about an ounce of flow troll in these little cups and then about half ounce of paint, mixing it up, and then we were great. As you can see, I've got some already mixed up. Now, this is from where I was doing the practices, and, you know, they were left over, and even though they're the budget-friendly paints, I still can't throw them away. They can be reused, right? So I just put little bits of saran wrap over the top, and they're great. But as you can see, we need to mix some uh, pumpkin orange, and we need to mix some um, fuchsia fun, and we'll do that in a second. We're just going to mix up some base first. Now, I did say in the uh, little commercial halfway through the week that we are using our white, da, 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 the white uh, dollar store uh, budget friendly paints to make the base and we still are. So what we're going to do is because we're doing two canvases and they're going to be two, oops, two eight by tens is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna pour straight over these little guys. Uh, but what I'm gonna do just to make the canvas tight and taut again is just mist the back with some water. So if you've got a little water mister, just gently mist it. Don't soak them, but you know, be fairly generous, a good few squirts, and uh, the canvas will tighten really nicely. So I'm just gonna do that, and we're gonna work off these. Literally, guys, just, here we go, squirt bottle, and da da da. That's it. Okie dokie. So we need to mix up uh, some of the uh, base. And because we're doing two of those eight by tens, we're gonna need three ounces each of base. So we're gonna need six ounces all in all. So that's gonna be four flow trial, four of these, uh, sorry, four. Uh, these are two ounces here. So uh, we're gonna use two of these and a full one of the white. And that's going to give us our two to one ratio. So always be nice and generous. Oh, and always don't forget, guys, to, uh, to uh, shake your flow troll. I'd already done it before the show. But yeah, you've got to remember to make sure you shake the flow troll. And some people also say it's a really good idea to strain it 
with whatever you've got. A uh, really good idea is an old pair of pantyhose. They work really great as a strainer uh, because there can be some gloops and some little goobers in there and we don't want those. Okay, guys, so using the same little cup that's already got some Floetrol in it, so hopefully the paint won't stick inside it too much. I'm just gonna use one of these little stair sticks. These are the ones from Fluid Art. As you can see, Fluid Art Co right there. I do recommend them. They're a great new little company with a fantastic business and customer ser service ethic. And uh, in this day and age, that kind of thing is a rare commodity. So I highly suggest you go to fluid-art.co is their website, and they ship to most countries all the way around the world. And they're really awesome. Shout out to uh, also Billy if she's in the group. I'm not too sure if she's in the live chat, but Billy and anyone else that might be there from uh, Fluid Art Co. and this little piggy. But anyway, we're just gonna mix up this white paint. And there we go, we've got six ounces of base, four of the flow troll, and two of the white paint. Okay, guys. So there we go. And it's always best to add the paint to the flow troll, not the other way around, because the paint is slightly thicker and it will stick itself to the sides of the cup. Whereas if you put the flow troll in first, it's not as uh, thick, not as viscous as the paint. And it doesn't stick to the sides nearly as well and helps you really mix it up nicely. So there we go, guys. Here's our consistency, two to one. Leaves a little trace for maybe a nanosecond or so and just goes straight back into itself. Oh, there we go, that's the base. And now we need to mix up the orange and the fuchsia. Now, don't worry, guys, if you've got these paints at home and you're like, what, you've already mixed up four of them and you're hurriedly, crazily mixing it at home there. Don't, don't, just chill out, it's good. <laughs> I can waffle more than long enough to give you guys enough time so the paint's good. <laughs> so we are just going to hear Christy's really laughing in my ear again now. <laughs> Thank you guys. I love you guys for being there. So let's put in a generous ounce in each of these little, um, little pots, okay guys? Little pots, they're little uh, two ounce solo cups. So this line in the middle is the ounce. Is Wombat, where is she? Could, could, oh, sorry. I have Christy in my ear asking a question about resin. Right, okay, somebody, uh, Christy's just talking in my ear and a lady has just asked, Leslie Starkey has just asked, asked a question about resin. Now, I believe if I got it right, she's got a coat on your piece, Leslie. Um, but you've missed a few spots, so you've got some uh, little, little empty areas. And what you would love to know what to do about those little missed spots and empty areas, right? Well, that's usually because uh, you either didn't pour enough on, so it could make the surface tension over the whole piece, or uh, there's some little contaminants in it. And this is why I don't use, and this is great, it links up to this, I don't use silicone in anything. And I'm trying to not, ever mention it or send you guys out to use it because in the, you know, as we get much further on in the joy of pouring, we're gonna be resining and things like that. And silicone is just such a pain in the butt to try and get rid of off your piece before you can either varnish or resin it. Uh, that's why we're not using it right now. But if uh, you've got some missed spots, well, all you have to do really is uh, using a mask sand down the piece a little bit first uh, and just be careful to do it outside where there's no one breathing anywhere near it because the the fine dust that you'll make from the resin uh, is very very carcinogenic and you do not want to breathe that in your lungs but give it a light sanding and then just re-pour it again with uh, more resin and it should actually be fine. And we're gonna know if I'm right or wrong with my advice there because dear Wombat is our resident resin expert and I don't know why Wombat didn't answer that or maybe you guys are trying to teach me. Oh, it's, oh, okay, poor dear Wombat is, his internet is not that great and his internet is lagging behind him, he said. So here we go, guys. So there's the, per there's the. Uh, 
Okay, Susie. Hi, Susie. How you going? I I know you, Susie Bate. How you doing? You're uh, you're another fellow uh, British Columbian there. Um, how much do you you only want to do one canvas? So that's absolutely fine. All you need to do is put two ounces, so one of these cups of Floetrol in here, and then half a cup of the paint, and that's gonna give you three ounces, and that's gonna be enough for one eight by 10 inch canvas, one of these. Let me grab this little one again, one of those. So three ounces is enough base for one of these, and then we're gonna be using out of these six, um, colors here, uh, about uh, three quarters to an ounce or so each one. So that's going to be one, two, three, it's gonna be about eight, eight ounces or so total we're gonna to need to uh, be able to cover this little canvas nicely, okay? Was that all right, Christy? Fabulous. Okay, so that was the orange that we just mixed up there and I hope these couple of questions have been great for everybody else that's mixing up at home. Um, and the other great thing about mixing up just these small amounts is that it doesn't require a lot of mixing up. You know, really just <laughs> measure the flow troll in, good squeeze of paint, you know, around about halfway in between the top, so it's half an ounce uh, to the ounce of flow troll that we put in. And we get this lovely consistency. Okay, my friends. Now, I don't know, I hope this is gonna go well because I'm gonna do two funnel pours because I really dug this color palette when we did the funnel pour and we did one that was um, a little nerve wracking, shall we say, for me and everybody watching. <laughs> um, but um, the reason why we'd, I've, cho I've chosen to do two of those now is just because it gives us a lovely circular pattern, okay? And then we can look at that circular pattern and how that circular pattern is affected when we tilt and, tilt the, and tip the excess off as opposed to putting it on a spinner and spinning the excess off. What I'm hoping is gonna happen is we're gonna retain our lovely circle, uh, spherical kind of shape to it and uh, kind of keep that beautiful galaxy vibe. But that's what we're gonna be doing. That's what I'm gonna be doing right here. And don't forget anyone that's joined us a little bit late. Uh, I have Christy in my ear hole, who is one of the fabulous co-hosts in the live chat, along with G from G Pause. Darren from Venom Fluid Art, AKA Wombat. And of course, lovely uh, B, uh, Bridget as well. Uh, my uh, fabulous sister from another mister who's over in Alberta. So there we go, guys. That's our base. I'm just giving it a stir up and let's just give our little colors another little bit of a stir up. Because they were sitting there for a few days with the saran wrap over them. Oh yeah, we just did those ones. Bingo. Hi, Leslie Starkey, thank you. Christy's just given me a message. Is the metallics mixed to the same ratio? Yes, it is, absolutely, exactly that same ratio. And uh, we do that because all of our paints here, our metallics and these dollar store, are incredibly similar, if not virtually identical in consistency. So as long as we mix them with equal parts of the flow troll, we've got this lovely consistency match, okay? Because we were teaching right from the beginning, consistency is key. Okay, guys? Brilliant. Right, now, I haven't got that much purple, actually, left. I might... Oh, no, we're going to be okay with that. That's going to be fine. But check out that contrast between the purple and then the orange and then the pink. It's screaming. It's fantastic. You, it was, sorry, Christy, what was that? You approved, darling. Highly, heartily approve of this colour palette. Okay, then, friends. So let's get some stuff out of the way and let's do the first, uh, the first funnel pour. And I'm going to do the first one and put it here and do the second one as quickly as I can so not too much happens to either of them. So we can then tip one and then spin one pretty much straight away, okay? So let's just move these paints. Da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, it's time to get messy. Watch Frosty get really messy. Christy, Christy really loves this part, don't you, darling? Of course it is. Right, I'm just going to put these ones over here. Da, 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 da. There we go, great. Now I've got a bit of a free space, but you know I'm probably gonna knock one of these that way, but anyone that was watching last week, <laughs> 
the, the double blunder with the fuchsia was just like, you know, that's the thing that makes it fun, right? And laugh, because it's real. We're, you know, we, we practice a little bit, we don't really rehearse, and um, we're keeping it, we're keeping it real. So anyway, here we go, guys, you can see now, our oh, canvas is nice and, it's even making a noise like a drum. There you go. It's nice and, nice and toit, toit like a toiger. So we are going to use, we're using our white base this time because I wanted to see how this lovely color palette was going to do with a white base because we'd used black before. And I had noticed that we kind of lose a bit of our purple here, this one, because this purple turns out is quite transparent. So when it dries, we're going to lose it. It, it. You're not really going to see the purple very well over this black because it's transparent. If we put it on white, we're going to see it really well. What did you just say? Oh no, for Christy, what's going on? <laughs> oh, I get you. Christy's saying, oh no, no purple. And she's quite upset about that as such. Right, here we go. I'm just trying to get the camera straight for you guys. That's about as straight as I think I can get it. I'm sorry, friends. Oh. There we go, that's a bit better, isn't it? Excellent, 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 excellent. So I'm gonna equally spread the um, base on this one. Da, 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 da. And then pour a little bit more on this one. And now start alternating between the two so it's pretty even on both. And you can give it a little scrape out because we're not gonna have goobers in there or anything like this. Excellent, there we go. So I'm just going to spread this out a little bit. I'm not gonna use my, uh, I'm not gonna use the stirring stick. They're good for stirring, but for spreading out, yeah, I guess. But uh, again, when you get a little more serious about your um, acrylic pouring, uh, you can go to the dollar store Again, where we get our paints, and uh, I found this little pack of plastic little tools. Now, of course, you know, no, they're not the best. They're not, you know, but they're really quite affordable. And I'm going to use this one to show you how good they really are. So you don't have to buy the expensive ones from the art store. I even got this one from the dollar store, though, and I believe it was maybe a buck or two. And this one works really great. But I'm going to use this one here. So we need to spread this out, spready, spready. Dun, dun, dun. Ah, Christy just says, away, I've got those ones too. Exactly, guys. We, we use what we've got, man, you know, what we can afford, because this isn't, you know, we can easily rack up <laughs> a big expenditure getting all the, you know, different tools and all the ingredients and the flow troll and the stuff like that, you know. Yeah. So you use what you got when you got it and you make it work. But there you go, guys, you see. There we go, you see, exactly, yeah, I, Christy's telling me in, in my ear, there's lots of people in the live chat saying, yes, I've got those, and look, you see, they work perfectly well. You know, you really don't need to buy the expensive ones from the art stores if you're just getting into it. But after a while, what you will find with these little plastic ones is sometimes they come a little bit um, bent uh, for, in the pack, like this isn't nice and flat, this little edge. Uh, and the thing with the metal ones, the ones that are a little bit more money, is that obviously they are flexible and you can bend them if they accidentally are in, aren't in the right shape. You can bend them and make them the right shape. Anyway, so that's our little uh, budget store, budget friendly little, little tool talk. Uh, so I'm just going to drop these a couple of times like that. And it's going to get all the bubbles out. Lovely. And we're going to put one off to the side just here. And we're going to get this one just here. And we're going to do this funnel pour. <laughs> right, so... <laughs> Chris, <laughs> Christy's giggling in my ear. Right, we, we've got this. We've got this. So, uh, the time before, I went in this order of the purple, the orange, the fuchsia, uh, metallic blue, sky blue, and then the peacock pearl, metallic kind of lovely tealy green. Uh, I'm going to go in the reverse order and see what kind of difference that makes. Does that make sense, guys? Excellent. Okay, so we're going to put that little, we're going to put this little guy just here, and then we're going to 
get the camera. Here we go. That's a good shot, isn't it, Christy? Excellent. Now let's hope this is going to work. Dun -dun -dun. So there we go. About half of what we mixed up. Because we're going to put the other half on the other canvas. Do the same technique, but we're going to spin it and see what difference it makes. Oops, that was a little bit, that was quite a lot of fuchsia. Oh, and that looked like there was a little goober in it. But there we go. So that's about um, two ounces of paint, guys. I measured this little um, little funnel, and it's a four ounce funnel, okay? So we're just gonna pick it up gradually, like this, and then let the paint out, and then down again, up and out, up and out. Everyone's gone quiet again. <laughs> okay, so there we go, guys. It kind of worked pretty well. So we're just gonna put this little guy there and we're gonna do the same to, no, I tell you what, we are going to tilt this little guy and we're gonna see the shapes it makes and then we're gonna pour on the other canvas, okay, friends? So I'm just gonna move you up to here. There we go. Da, 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 da. So as we've done before, you know, guys, we just kind of move it around. But here we go. A little close up for you guys first, sorry. Here we go. Looks far less like a galaxy, of course, because it's on a white base, not a dark base. But we've got some pretty little colors and some cells happening kind of in the middle there a little bit. But this isn't uh, trying to repeat the funnel pour we did on the other show. This is basically just to keep these circular patterns so we can see what happens to them when we tilt and we can see what happens to them when we spin. Okay, friends? So as we've done before, we want to move it around, get the paint nicely moving as one and then go over one corner and then Tilt it back into the middle, friends. And then we're gonna go straight over that corner. Tilt it back into the middle. And as you can see, the shape has already started to kind of distort. You see, we've got these uh, elliptical rings now rather than circles. So we're gonna tilt it to that corner. And now we're gonna let it go all the way back over to this corner. And we're gonna see, it takes a little while for it to get over there because, you know, we've used not a lot of paint here. But there we go, it's over that corner. Now we want to just, whoop. Oh yeah, I was trying not to get filthy, but I'm really filthy, of course. And we're just gonna tip it back into the beginning. It, back into the middle, rather, friends. And there we go, we can see the nice shape we've got there. Kind of looks like a bit like a galaxy. I love those rings, it's very pretty. We've got a few little little orange cells just popping up here, which are quite cool. But I am just going to wipe the bottom here. Look at this, Christy, look. Oh, no, I mean, the, <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm saying, look at this, Christy, with all the paint over my hands. Are you getting, screen, are you getting sc screenshots? <laughs> Oh, she makes me laugh every time she says, yeah, I screenshot it when you get really messy. But here we go, guys, okay? So there's the piece. As you can see really nicely, the paint has covered the canvas completely. Uh, don't worry about leaving it on this thick because we mixed it with so much flow troll. It's predominantly flow troll here. There's more flow troll than paint itself. So uh, it will dry absolutely beautiful, but will take a good day or two to dry completely. Now, it's really, you know, um, you can't help going in there and taking a look at it and you think it might be dry. Believe me, it isn't. Don't put your fingers in it because you'll <laughs> you'll break your heart. But anyway, guys, so that's the, oop, that's the eight by 10. As you can see, I'm just wiping the bottom again because the paint, as I'm talking, I'm not keeping the canvas straight and the paint is coming off some edges. But here we go, there you go. That's the wasted paint, guys. I would guess this might be an ounce and a half of wasted paint, which I think, you know, for this kind of art form, it is inherently known for wasting. You know, you waste some paint, but 
I like to really try and minimize that waste. So, you know, we can make more pictures. And I do this for therapy and for fun. Uh, and, uh, you know, the more paint we can do, the more pictures we can do. But there you go, my friends. I'm gonna give this to the lovely Vanna. Thank you, darling. And she's going to take it to the drying area, but we're going to bring it back for the comparison at the end. Okay, so I'm just gonna clean up this little mess here because I don't want to put my spinner in all this mess because the bottom of it is clean. And again, uh, I know you guys yeah, get a real kick out of watching me clean up after each one, but um, I work in my kitchen. I don't have a lot of space. And um, Vanna is fantastic. She, she, you know, she's like fine with me working in this space, but as long as I don't cover it in paint and you know, that's quite a, uh, fair rule, let's say. So I'm just going to give Vanna this really dirty cloth. And can I have, oh, there's me saying, can I have a new one? There is already a new one at my side. Oh, of course, oh my word, I forget to, of course, introduce Vanna, my Vanna White, the Vanna White of acrylic pouring, my darling, amazing, beautiful wife. Uh, she's currently just washing out the dirty rag right now. So, but we shall introduce and you will meet Vanna. If you did not meet her uh, in the show last week, uh, you shall meet her in this show this week. So I'm just cleaning up this little spot and we're gonna get ready for number Number two. So we're going to give it another little drop just to get the uh, bubbles out of it, okay, my friends? And I'm just going to dry my hands up. I'm just going to ask Christy if there's any questions or anybody burning to ask me something or you guys just got it covered so well. Aha. Yeah. Crystal Mason. Hi there, Crystal. Sorry, Crystal. Didn't have you in the shout out list. I'm really sorry. Hi, Crystal, how are you doing? Uh, and a few others have asked in the chat, what uh, do I use as the cleaner? I'm just gonna bring that camera out a little bit. There we go. I use this. It's by a company called Dynamic and the product is called Chomp. You can get it at Home Depot in North America and also in Canada, you can get it ordered from Cloverdale Paints. They're a paint store across Canada. They also carry it. Um, but yes, it is a orange-based degreaser and cleaner. It's uh, totally organic and really friendly. It doesn't hurt your hands. Um, but it's, uh, it's not organic, sorry, I shouldn't say that, but it's very friendly, it's based on orange oil. So, you know, there's nothing, no real horrible chemicals in there to hurt your hands. But I mix it 50-50 uh, with water in my spray bottle and I just spray my little rag like that and it helps me clean my hands up that well, that quickly. But usually any hardware, yeah, thank you, Vanna, any hardware store should be able to order it. So I'm gonna hold it there just for a second and you guys can either take a screenshot of it or something like that, or we'll go over it again at the end and you guys can find it because it really is amazing. It is acrylic paints arch enemy. It's, it's, it, this is its kryptonite is what I meant to say. It will just even get virtually dried acrylic paint out of your clothes. It's really great. If you can catch it before the paint has cured, this will break it down and get rid of it. Okay, guys? So that's the cleaner. Is there any other questions? Ah, oh, great. I was goo gone. I've got, Christy's just telling me in my ears that a couple of people in the live chat there uh, couldn't find that product but found something called goo gone. And gook. Goo gone and gook. I'm not sure if I'm hearing Christy rightly, but I'm sure Christy will type in the live chat what they actually are because of my, you know, ridiculous English ears and accent. I'm sorry. Right, okay guys, so there we go. We're gonna go in a little bit closer. There's our little canvas, bingo. And we're going to load up the, um, the, uh, the little funnel here and do the same thing. And then we're gonna get the spinner that's just to my side and we're gonna see how well it spins. Okay, so, oh yeah, I need to get you guys down to the nice little angle right there. There we go. Is that everyone, is everyone cool with that little angle? Ooh, I, 
There we go. I'm just going to get my hand out of the way. So there we go. We can see it nicely. So again, we're going to go uh, the same way again with the same uh, the same order of our colours. So we're going to put some of the. There you go. The peacock pearl in. We're going to put some of the sky blue. Then some of the ice blue metallic. And then some of the fuchsia. And this should, if you've mixed up these paints with me, guys, it should be, you should have a little tiny bit in each part left. And you can most certainly, you know, scrape those out and absolutely use those for another little painting session. You know, you can do another, another one of these canvases. Try using less and see how it comes out. But here we go, guys. So that's the paint in there. I am going to do exactly the same thing and hope it comes out the same. So we're just kind of pulling. Yeah, sorry, guys. Well, you can see, but if you need to, uh, if I'm going to explain it to you, you just need to pull the, the funnel just up to the edge of the white base and it just kind of flows just slightly underneath the white you'll see it and then it starts to show up through and poke its head through oh there we go look we've got a couple of great little bubbles right in the middle and uh these can be our oops these can be our friends sometimes oh there you go oh no <laughs> uh, i was just getting a toothpick to, to pop the bubbles and there were two stuck together and one fell in and made that little line there. But I was trying to pop the bubbles here because when we get bubbles, all of our colors underneath start to pop up through and it's really quite great. But I dropped the stick in it. Oh well, what can you do? But anyway, let me just move the camera angle again, friends. And wreck it. There we go, yeah, you see the little line I just did, guys? Well, the line there, accidentally dropped it, but we've got some lovely little colors popping up there and through. So let's get the spinner. Thank you very much, my dear Vanna. And now the tricky thing we have to do now is just get the camera point angle out a little bit more. Just need to move these paints out of the way before I knock them anywhere. And I'm just going to chitty chat, chitty chat just for a second. Anybody in the group that's just joined us, the second half of the show, the more advanced half, is really your call, guys. What would you like me to work on? What would you like help on? Please let them know in the live chat. And the majority is going to rule. And we're going to go over whatever you guys want to actually do in the more advanced section. If you want to me to go through the transparencies again with you, I can. If you want me to... Um, I sing and dance for you. I can, I guess. <laughs> blooms, blooms, and deconstructs to blooms. Modify blooms. Brilliant. Okay, guys, so let them know. And uh, the co-host there is, uh, will kind of, you know, tally up the votes, see what the ma mass majority want, and that's what we're going to do. So that's enough of me chitty-chatting. Now we're going to get the camera down a little bit closer to the spinner. <laughs> I could, Vanna, Vanna is over there on the manning the phone that makes the connection to Christy in my ear and Vanna cannot stop laughing. Be singing and dancing for this oh my God, no, I'm going to be singing and dancing. Oh, what did I, what did I do? Well, I, it was, the majority wants singing. What have I done? What, what did I do? Why did I not? Honestly, this is it, Frosty. Stick to the script. <laughs> Stop ad-libbing, ad for God's sake. Where, why did I? Oh, dear, why didn't I just have some, you know, vague ideas of what you might have wanted me to do? I have no idea why I said that. <laughs> yeah, Christy is absolutely laughing. So is Vanna. It's looking like the... Dancing Bloom, nice one, Heather. Thank you, Heather. I can see that Wombat is laughing. Oh, dear. Uh, <laughs> oh, 
Uh, Biljana, hi Biljana, you're in here. I hope I've pronounced your name properly, darling. Jody, hi Jody. Uh, running man, you want me to do the running man, Jody? Yeah, I can do the running man for you. Absolutely, no worries. <laughs> How much paint do you put in the pouring medium to avoid flocculation to blooms? Says Maya. Oh wow. Well, flocculation happens when we're using uh, pigments, right? Um, well. Let's keep that question on the back burner for me. Let's spin this out so this test is, you know, comparable at all. So here we go, guys. There we go. I'm going to, uh, I have to just center it on the spinner. And I do so making like little triangles here with the lines to make sure they're all around about kind of the same. And we know our board is in the middle. So I am now going to spin it and we're going to see the difference it makes. And I'm hoping we're going to retain all these nice rings if I haven't waffled too long. So there we go, guys. Gentle spin. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave. Fantastic. Okay, guys, so we're just giving it a gentle spin. Heather Gordon, big shout out to you. Thank you. You sent a sticker. And that's it. I forgot to mention you guys. If you'd like to support me and help me out here, in the bottom right of your chat where you type your message that you're going to send, there is a little dollar sign and that will help you. You can send me a sticker or you can send me uh, some love and just some support if you like. And that gets your chat message highlighted in the live chat and... Uh, way more noticed and um, more likely to get picked up and we can actually make sure we get to all of your questions. So that's the uh, stickers, guys. If you'd like to send me a sticker and Heather Gordon, thank you so Nicola much. Wilson, thank you oh, N Nicola Wilson as well, I've been told. Thank Oh, Nicola Wilkinson. Sorry, Nicola. Thank you so much, Nicola. That's so kind. So here we go, guys, after the first spin. You see, we've got this beautiful, the circles are still in there really nicely. So let's give it another spin, the anti-clockwise spin. And there we go. And you see, I just keep my fingers on the board here, guys, just catching the drips as they make it over the edge of the canvas onto the board and start to get, the little drips start to creep outwards. And before they make it to the edge of the board and start spattering me and the cat in the kitchen, I just catch them here with my finger. And let's just give that, there we go. Oh, Vanna is really laughing. Chrissy, Christy is really laughing. My number one is laughing. Twerking. They want you to twerk. <laughs> oh my god. I've never seen it. <laughs> hang on a second. Right, hang on. Let me just let me, <laughs> let me just clean my hands up for a second. So, you know, let's just forget the art here. This, this is not about the art anymore, is it, really? This is not about the art. It's like Christy is absolutely losing it in my ear. <laughs> when did this stop being about the art, guys? But you want me to twerk it? I, 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 I will let you into a secret. I can do a little bit of twerking. But I'm really, I'm really, uh, that's really nice of you to ask me to twerk. And none of you have seen my butt yet. Vanna says, Vanna says it's nice, so I'm not going to say that because, you know, it's not for me to say, but yes, I can twerk. Now, oh, poor Cy Doc Arts <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to have a drink of water, guys. I suggest you guys do the same. Maybe, you know... Well, this is it. It's quarter to it's quarter to three where I am, but I know on the east coast, uh, eastern, it's five p.m. all the time already. So you know that's five p.m. So we might kind of exchange or halfway through the show exchange the water for a glass of vino. Eh? All right, Christy has managed to compose herself in my ear now, which is brilliant. Okay, she says she's good. She's good now. Okay, guys, so do you want to have a look at the canvas and see how it worked? Yeah? Okay. So there we go. Da 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 da. Here it is. Dun da da. Vanna, Vanna's okay. Yeah, Vanna has composed herself too, Christy. Thank you, darling. So, right, hang on. The camera isn't quite. The camera isn't quite straight and it kind of bugs me when the camera isn't straight and you can't get a good view. Oh gosh, I could... Oh, Shannon and Lily, thank you so much. Shannon and, uh, Shan... Shannon and Lily, thank you so much for those stickers. We just got those popped up on my screen. But here we go, guys. You can see by spinning the piece, we don't warp 
uh, the lines or anything and we're able to keep that lovely circular pattern there and as you can see some of the little cells are starting to pop up through those metallics because the metallics are heavier than the uh, colored paints and they sink through them and that's what makes these little cells pop up but there we go okay let's have a good close-up at that metal that's sweet okay so that's that one okay my friends now the delicious and fantastic vanna has brought the other one back and there you go guys you see so where you tip it from side to side and you tilt it it warps those lines and it gives us a nice kind of pattern absolutely but if you want to retain the cells and keep those patterns nicely a spinner is the way to go so again, that leads us back onto the, I'll mention next week's competition is going to be a big giveaway where you can learn, uh, sorry, where you can win my old little spinner. Bless it, it's over here. I shall show you just really quickly, bing, bing, this little plastic guy. It's a little bit noisy, but it works absolutely brilliantly. And it's exactly the same as this one uh, where I just got a 20 inch board, uh, a half inch thick, 20 inch square, MDF board and I stuck it to the top of the spinner with the sticky tack, the stuff that you use for sticking posters to the wall so it doesn't damage the wall. But that's going to be a giveaway next week, my friends. And I might be, I, you know, Frosty's, I like to think I'm a generous guy. I'm gonna throw in a piece or two of Frosty eye candy so you can have a piece of art. And there might be some other little surprises in there for you too. So here we go, last little look at this one as you can see, guys. And let's just give it a tilt. No, it's hardly moving at all. See, this is the thing. It spun all the excess paint off really beautifully. Oh, I just saw a big sticker go by there where I was looking up. Thank you so much. Who was that? Wendy, Wendy. Oh my gosh, hang on. Let's just get the camera pointing up. Wendy and everybody that has sent uh, stickers so far, thank you so much for your support and your generosity, my friends. Um, it's really, really kind of you. And it helps me buy some more materials and some more little canvases and things like that so we can carry on with these shows, hopefully making them better and better as we go each week. But thank you so much for your generosity, everybody that sent stickers and things like that so far. It really means the world to us because by us, I mean Christy in my ear and also G, Darren and Bri Bridget, all five of us go into making this show and it wouldn't be nearly as good without these amazing people and co-hosts and friends uh, that I'm very privileged to call that I have right now. Okay then my friends, so that's, uh, that's the, uh, the I, I guess I'm going to be twerking it now. <laughs> <laughs> It's Shannon. Was it Shannon? Your idea, Shannon. Hi, Danny. Shannon. Nicola, hi there. Yeah, everybody's really laughing. So we're not going to be doing any painting. It's going to be a twerking bloom, is it? Or what? I don't know. Or I could just kind of twerk it while we're... <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, this is, so, I really hope guys, I'm pretty sure you do uh, find kind of, you know, how funny and interactive and interesting this crazy little show is of ours. I never dreamed, none of us dreamed it would ever be kind of as much fun as it is. But oh my God, we get such a kick out of doing it. And I guess that's where you can kind of see the chemistry between us and you're watching at home. You can interact in the live chat. And oh, that brings me to a point. Those of you that aren't subscribed, could you please subscribe to my channel? If you subscribe to the channel, that's, that means you're gonna be able to like my videos, leave a comment on my videos, and when we're doing the live chat, Christy is just losing it in my ear. When we're doing the live chat, it means that you can actually interact in the live chat. So you have to subscribe to my channel. And all that means is a little membership to YouTube. They don't want any banking details or anything like that. Thank you so much, Laurie. <laughs> Send me a ticket. Keep it up. <laughs> yeah, okay, keep it up. Uh, you need to, let me compose myself. You need to set up a goal. <laughs> Right. All, all you have to do is compose yourself, Frosty, and take a breath. 
There we go. And we just need to create an account with YouTube. It's really easy. All they want is your email address to make an account with YouTube. And then you can like and share my videos. You can comment on them and you can get on to this fabulous laugh, laugh a minute, which is the joy of pouring on Sunday afternoons. So, okay then friends, uh, let's just have one last little look at this puppy before we get rid of it. Well, not get rid of it, but we're going to. Um, <laughs> Vanna is whispering at me across the kitchen. Hang on. Yeah, she's saying, you're gonna have to twerk. <laughs> Just whispering it. I don't know if that could, if you pick me up whispering. But anyway, there we go, guys. We've got these beautiful rings and these lovely little dusty cells and stuff. And you know, that's really pretty. We like that, don't we? So I am going to just point it up and you're gonna look at me for a minute. Fantastic. Again, thank you so much for you uh, very, very kind uh, people and generous people for giving us stickers and sending us little things like that. Um, it means the world to us, it really does. It means the world to me. And I can hear Vanna really laughing again <laughs> over in the kitchen. <laughs> so we are, am I definitely twerking? Am I twerk and tilt? <laughs> oh no, this is it, yes, because they send me stickers, isn't it? It's got my... No, Christy's just said it in my ear, the, the live chat has taken the wrong direction really quick. I don't say it's the wrong direction, but it's taken a direction that our group chats, uh, the uh, co-admins of Acrylic Boring for Beginners. Oh dear me, it's so much fun. Yeah, but it's you guys at home that also make it, make the show so much fun with your interaction. I mean, it's absolutely brilliant and I couldn't thank you enough. And uh, a lovely new little saying that I'm gonna to start to use is that if this brought you joy, please share it with others. Anyway, I am just gonna get, Christy is still trying to compose herself, bless her. I'm gonna, oh, who said, <laughs> We've got the dime if you've got the time. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my good gosh. <laughs> Honestly, this, this is going to be so much fun to watch back later on, isn't it, Vanna? Right, here we go. Here we go, my friends. The last little, there we go, the last one. Oh, Shan B says, by the time we're done with you, you'll have a pole behind you. Turn the camera. Uh, sorry. <laughs> By the time we're done with you, you'll have a pole behind you. Oh, right. Okay, we're good. So there we go, guys. There's this one. Oh, we've got the nice little rings over the edge. And I'm going to give this to the darling, beautiful Vanna. You can say hello. Hi, everyone. <laughs> and Vanna's just going to take that to the drying area, which is the downstairs spare bedroom, which I kind of commandeered. Uh, we've got a bed in there with a, a, a big... Uh, wooden sheet over it that's nice and level. And I just dry my little uh, pieces on uh, the same little solo cups, just four of them in each corner. And there we go, they dry nicely. So that's that's the nice little beginner section of what, whoa, what we were doing. And I just caught this before it spread its uh, paint everywhere. Uh, and now we can, seriously talk about exactly what we want to, you want me to do for the rest of the show. If it's seriously just singing and dancing and the running man, maybe a bit of twerking. Thank you, Shannon. You're, you're absolutely brilliant. I love you, Shannon. Thank you, Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> She's brilliant, isn't she? Absolutely brilliant. Uh, and I've got, you know, Vanna is doing such a tremendous job. Each time I turn around for a new rag, bang, there's a new rag that's nice and clean and it's there. So again, right, let's just go in for anybody that didn't join us at the beginning and uh, maybe have joined us for the first time. Quick little introduction. I'm, I'm Frosty from Frosty Eye Candy and this is the joy of pouring. In my ear here, I have uh, my dear friend and co-host, uh, Christy from Christy's Creations. She's in the States. We also have the co-hosts in the live chat. We have the fabulous, beautiful Bee. We have the marvelous Darren, also known as Wombat, and not forgetting our illustrious leader of the group, Acrylic Point for Beginners, Amun G. So, there we go, guys. That was the uh, 
the benefits to spinning rather than tilting. And I hope that was informative for you guys. And I hope for those that have uh, just started their acrylic journey and their acrylic pouring, I hope that uh, really kind of showed you and explained to you the benefits. And I hope that you're gonna go out right now and get yourself spinners and uh, bits of board to stick to the top of them because it really is a great way to get the uh, excess paint off and still retain those shapes. So, before we go into the uh, dance section of the video, I guess, I am just going to mention, in case she is with us in the group and missed at the beginning, Betty Moore, please, Betty Moore, if you're there in the group, in the live chat, you won this uh, JOP, the last week's canvas from the JOP3, and we'd like to send it to you if you'd like it. But um, there we go. If it still doesn't get claimed, I guess it's going to go into the uh, spinner prize that we're going to uh, mention the competition next week. So that's Betty Moore, please, Betty. And... Ah, ah Betty, I, is she, you're in the group, Betty, fantastic. Um, right, uh, I can't check right now because I use my phone to film. Uh, I will check, Betty, um, and hopefully it's in there or I'm going to check my junk folder as well because it might have gone into there, Betty, okay? But we're going to do our best to get you your piece of art. It's not going to be given away to anyone else now, I can swear, because you're in the group <laughs> and uh, you want your piece of art. Okay, and let's just... Oh. Oh, fantastic. Sorry, who was that Christy just said in my ear? Nicola Wilkinson, you say you've got a spare spinner. That's absolutely fantastic. Please, yeah, I'm all about paying it forward and passing it on and stuff like this. You know, you only take stuff if you need it. Don't take stuff if you want it. But that's so generous of you, Nicola. Please, that would be fantastic. Uh, we will uh, we will see when the, uh, the uh, either you might meet somebody now in the chat that says, please, please give it to me, or, or we'll either uh, wrap it up with a part of the prize next week. I'm not too sure, but we'll have a chat about that. Thank you so much for your generosity. And let's just quickly mention again the JOP number four the winner is danny troop i think danny troop am i pronouncing your name correctly darling i hope i'm not murdering it but you are the winner of these little pieces and uh we will get these on the way to you from a, obviously i shall message you something like that a dm and we'll get those shipped off to you and let's just mention last week's canvases the nice little water dragon here i was able to get a coat of resin on this one Fantastic, Danny, awesome. We will get those sent, sent to you. Thank you for being there. But these are the uh, last week's canvases, the uh, the lovely funnel pour, traveling funnel pour we did there. And just look at that little guy, a little blue water dragon. I really wanted to keep it. I said, look, Van, I can't want to keep this. Deadpan, no, you've got to give them away. That's part of the deal. So this was the traveling funnel pour. And this is the result of the Frosty Mods, how to do the Frosty Mods, leaving the extra lines outside of our swipe to play around with and modify. So you can win these two if you please watch video number 11. It's an acrylic bloom video. Uh, it's a green acrylic bloom uh, with gold from the little picture. I can hear Christy laughing again now. Uh, if you could please watch that. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> so Deborah said she Deborah would twerk for the for the for the water dragon. <laughs> oh, he's so pretty, isn't he? I really love him. JOP five. There you go. You see, I've signed it in the back and stuff like that. But yes, uh, if you would like to win these ones, please watch video number eleven in my list of videos. It's one of the ones at the beginning, obviously number eleven. And comment love. Okay. If you've already seen it, if you have already seen it, or you don't want to watch it but want to go in for the competition, please just press play on the video on your phone or your tablet and walk away. Come back ten minutes later and just comment the word love and the winner gets picked randomly from all of those comments. So that's last week's canvases. 
Yes, of course. We're doing this because I'm still trying to build my watch hours. I've made enough watch hours to get to my authorization. That's how uh, you get a little advert that pops up before our videos and you can send me stickers and things like that. Uh, but the deal is that you must maintain those watched hours over a 365 day period. So this is why we're doing all this. And this is why I'm asking for your lovely help in return for these canvases. Okay, my friends, we're gonna put those back down. So that's everything covered nicely. And I'm just going to take a drink of water. Now, before we get on to the twerking and the running man section of the video, <laughs> Grizzly laughs, um, I would like to ask you beginners that are still watching, as I asked the more advanced guys uh, at the beginning of the show what they would like to work on, and it looks like I'm now doing the running man and twerking. But you beginners, the show next week, beginners, Christy says you're going to be twerking. <laughs> it's either blooms or twerking. It's up in the air. Can I combine the two? I don't know. I'll see how we can do. Uh, twerking blooms. Twerking blooms. Oh, my God. Uh, anyway, the beginners that are still watching, uh, as for the beginner show next week, I am also offering it out to you guys. What would you like some work on? What would you like some help on? Where should we go and what should we do? I really want to make this show as interactive, as fully interactive as we can. Hence, I mentioned, I've got a problem, Christy says. What's the problem? <laughs> oh. With, yeah, they're very interactive, aren't they? Um, but yes, I mean, fully interactive, though. Where you, you, you can dictate what you're going to see here and stuff like that. Um, but um, I, I wish I'd known I was going to be doing some sort of dancing because I would have worked out a little bit more, maybe. Oh, absolutely crazy, crazy talk. Right. So, my friends, in all seriousness, what would you like me to do? Literally just sing and dance like the sing and dancing monkey? Or would you actually like to do some painting? Oh, I saw someone just pop chain pull technique. Now you see the chain pull, the chain pull is something I have never done. So we'll see how well that goes down and we might do that next week. How about that? It's good. Oh, someone says, how to do modifications. Laura says, deconstructed blooms. Hi, Laura. Thank you for joining us, Laura. <laughs> My brother says, dance, monkey, dance. George Ann, Dutch paws and blooms, pillows versus canvas coverage. It just disappeared at the last second. Excellent. So these are all things that are going to be in the live chat. And I can, when I, because I watch the show back, uh, because obviously presenting the show is not like watching it. And by watching it, I can watch your live uh, comments and I can really kind of structure the show. So it is really, truly interactive and you guys get to see what you want to see. But thank you so much for those suggestions questions right there. Excellent. So uh, what is the majority rule? The dancing? Someone says, uh, oh, Danny says Dutch poor. You mean for the beginner show next week, Danny? I guess she's going to say yes or no in a second, but excellent. <laughs> Shan B. Thank you, Shannon. Yes, it's all your fault. I knew it was you, Shannon. You're, 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 oh, you're, you're about to get taken off the bus. Now, it's a bit of a personal joke, I guess, between Shannon and I, but bussin is a uh, apparently a new good word that she learned from her from her grands, and it kind of transpired and, and translated over in our group, the acrylic pouring for beginners. All right, Dutch pour and how to mix paints for a Dutch pour. I just saw that as it uh, as it just disappeared. Danny Troop again saying, yes, the Dutch pour for the beginners next week. Well, excellent. You know something, guys. I have only ever done one Dutch pour. And it was a triptych over three 16-inch uh, canvases, so it was quite a big one. And um, it was adventurous for my first one, but I'm one of those people that's like, let's go for it, you know, let's go crazy and see, see, how, we, uh, see how we make out. To coin a term from the lovely B, Bridget, playing with purpose because, you know, that's how we start to learn and stuff. But excellent. Oh, Janice. Janice, thank you so much. Wow, that is so amazingly generous of you, Janice. Oh, bless you. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, have you got your art yet, Janice? I'm not sure if it um, has been delivered yet. I have the uh, I have the tracking numbers, but I haven't got around to actually do it yet. Uh, Bridget says, oh baby, here we go, Frosty, with the 
blow dryer. Oh, frosty with the blow dryer. <laughs> yeah, excellent. So yes, I've only ever done one Dutch pour. It was a triptych, quite a large one, quite adventurous, and it didn't come out actually too awful. But uh, I used many different colors and, um, you know, looking back on it now, uh, it looked a little bit busy and I can't show you it because it's on some old canvases that got poured over a hundred times before either ending up with something that nice that I liked or, but we can absolutely, if the majority is ruling with the Dutch pours next week, we are going to do Dutch pours in the beginner section with these dollar store paints. And we're going to see how they work with the Dutch pour. Now, I'm not 100% on the Dutch pour. I know our lovely, wonderful Bridget is a, uh, a little bit of an aficionado. And Christy knows something about it too. I'm not sure about the boys. They might know too, but I don't want to speak for them. But I am under the impression and understanding and belief that with a Dutch pour, you mix it with either flow troll and water or just paint and water, I believe. But we are going to do, yes, here we go, Tina Wheaton. Hi there, Tina. Thank you, Dutch pour. Let's do the Dutch pour. We are doing, oh, Susie Bay. Thank you so much, Susie. That's so very, very kind of you, Susie. Thank you. Yep, Janice says, Dutch pour in the beginner section will be good. I think that's what we are doing next week in the beginner section. And we can see how these little dollar store paints are going to be, uh, how they're going to fare up with a Dutch pour. Uh, now, please tell me in the comments if I'm right or wrong, if it's just the paint and water, or if we do, I think there's a few recipes, if you use flow troll water and the paint, right, Christy? I think Christy's just confirming it in my ear. Here we go, Crystal Mason, I did my first Dutch pour today. It went so-so. Oh, well, I tell you what then, it's gonna be fun next week. Hi there, Josh, marble pours are easy and fun. Hi there, Josh, thanks for joining us, man. Uh, either way works, says Shannon. <laughs> Is that the twerking or the blooming? I guess, Shadow, we'll be back to that. Budget, yeah, Bridget says budget friendly paints need flow troll. But we do mix it with some water though too, don't we guys? Yeah, Crystal says I did paint and flow troll and some water. Shan B, Shannon is laughing again. <laughs> Either way is good for the pause. Fantastic, Dennis, excellent. Okay then, Jody, thank you so much, Jody. Water is good, says Janice. Just a drop, says, <laughs> says Wombat. Thanks for the info, Bridget. You see, this is the fantastic thing about our wonderful co-hosts in the live chat. Really, they answer all the questions and it's only really when someone wants, you know, dance, monkey, dance, that they tell me to do something in my ear here. But, okay, so we want to do a bloom, do we, guys? What do we want to do? How do you know how much... Uh... Ah, Missy says she could use help with a Dutch pour. So brilliant, that's what it's definitely going to be. Travels better when it's thinner, says Wendy. Excellent. Yes, please, says Nicola. Not too much water, says Janice. Excellent, well, brilliant. That is done, sealed, deal. We are doing beginner Dutch pours next week and you're gonna watch Frosty do a Dutch pour. And I'm gonna watch Frosty do his second Dutch pour. <laughs> I'll practice a little bit in the week. So it's, um, I, I practice just enough. So I kind of know what I'm talking about, but so things still happen and it's entertaining and funny, right? Because that's where the entertainment comes in is, you know, when you throw fuchsia paint all over yourself. Oh, wow, Laura, Laura, but if I read it rightly, uh, Balal, that is so, so kind of you. Laura, thank you so much for sending me that sticker. That was absolutely lovely of you. So most people are saying blooms, let's do a bloom. Right, we're gonna do a bloom. Um, now, what do we actually want to learn about doing this bloom? Do we want to learn how to deconstruct it or how to do some more frosty mods to a bloom? I'm probably going to use a little uh, six inch cradle. And I haven't, got, I haven't, uh, shock horror. Doing these, doing these lives and, uh, and uh, trying to keep on top of social media. Um, I haven't had much time to actually just paint for, you know, just for laughs and just for therapy and just to record it and see how it goes. So all my paints that I have mixed up here are really over the last few weeks of doing the advanced section. So we've got some colors in there, but their consistencies, 
Some of them look okay, but some of them look really quite thick. So I am not sure how they're going to come out, but we've got, still got a bit of green left here. Yeah, and as we've learned, when you try to kind of rejuvenate old paints, um, I'm just gonna point it down a little bit. When you try to rejuvenate them, uh, when they get to about that much, you know, or less in the actual pot, like this one, they're gonna be so th thick and it's gonna be very difficult to get the, um, uh, the, the viscosity, the thickness of all these similar. Uh, it's gonna be quite tricky. So, wow, I've got, you see, on a big pot like this though, yeah, you see how it pours in there? It's quite nice. When we've got that much paint in a pot, it lasts a lot better obviously than when we've got that much paint in the pot. But I'm gonna use some of these paints right here. I'm gonna try and get them to a usable consistency and we're going to do a bloom. Now, is there any other criteria to this bloom? Or do you actually want to just see me do that? <laughs> My favorite technique, Frosty's favorite technique. Hmm, that's a good question. Yeah, really, it's got to be blooms or swipes. When you look at my channel, uh, a lot of them are blooms and swipes. Um, I really enjoy doing what we call the frosty mods, leaving those extra lines on the outside of a swipe in the pillow and then modifying those. I really like, yeah, doing those. That's really going to be one of my favourites. <laughs> oh, did someone just laugh and said, where was the twerk with that running man? Wreck the bloom, says, da uh, says Darren, says... Uh, says says Wombat, bless him. So, let me just get some colours here and let me just pick a couple. I'm going to see if I can get that green working a bit better. I'm going to... Oh, oh. Yeah, where was the joke with that running man? As I started to do it, I got really nervous and my legs started to actually stop moving and it was just like, no running man, but hang on. There you go. But I guess you only saw the top half. You didn't see no look, leg work, did you? <laughs> oh, you guys have got me sweating. <laughs> <sighs> Was that good entertainment for you, dance, monkey, dance? Excellent. Oh, there we go. Betty Moore is laughing her butt off. Everyone's laughing. Robin Bartell, hi, Robin. Oh, my God, says one man. <laughs> I'm getting like cheek spasms where I'm laughing too much. Hang on. Oh, he works hard for the money, Heather. Yeah, working hard for the money. Right. <laughs> On the floor. <sighs> Oh, oh. Hang on, it's all like... <laughs> I'm not wearing the right pants for twerking, so the pants are moving a bit and you can't see my butt. <laughs> or a little pair of hot pants or something. And Vanna, Vanna does say, Vanna did just interject. Well, you do own several pairs. <laughs> so, uh, right. <laughs> okay. Ugh. Uh, 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 I've got to, I've got to compose myself, guys. Uh. Right, a good time is being had by all right here, right now, thank you. I can see my little counter says there's uh, 54 people that are in the live chat, so that's 54 subscribers. That's a great number, thank you so much, guys. <laughs> so, right, Christy has tried to tell me in my ear that somebody just joined the live as I was twerking. And they're like, what the hell have I was joined? <laughs> oh, right, I'm gonna... 
Ah, excellent, my friends. Now, shall we choose? Let's just get the camera pointing down a little bit. Shall we choose some colors here that I can try to rejuvenate and we're gonna to throw together in a bloom and pray to God it's gonna work, okay? So what we need is at least one or two piggies or pigments, and then at least one or two, preferably um, tube paints. Uh, so we can uh, layer them nicely and we can get that depth and dimension, okay guys? So I am going to try and guess what these interference colors are. Oh, this one, let's use this one. I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, this one's McCaw which is uh, TLP McCaw. It's a triple interference, if I remember rightly. Uh, it goes green, gold, and like indigo blue. So we're gonna use that because there's pretty much full, and that's gonna be a good consistency to work with it as it is already. And then I am going to choose, I don't know which, I really, see this is, here you go guys, learn, learn a lesson, learn a lesson from Frosty, label your pots <laughs> so you know what's in them. So we've got McCaw. Do the... Wombat, do them all. <laughs> Wombat says do it all with pigments. You can do it, you can do it. Well, don't forget though, Darren, that I'm gonna try and rejuvenate some of these. Some of these are thicker than others and I'm gonna try and get them to the same consistency, uh, but Wombat, uh, Darren, as fabulous artist, please go and check him out on YouTube. Uh, Venom Fluid Art, he is on YouTube. Go over there, please, right now. I will wait for you for two minutes and you can subscribe to his channel. Also, while you're there, why don't you just subscribe to Creations by Christy, which is Christy's channel. And you can also subscribe to G's channel, which is G Pause. And we can also, while we're there, because Bridget doesn't have a channel yet, but it's something we've been talking about. You can also just give Bridget some love and tell Bridget that you love her because Bridget is amazing. As are... Oh! Fantastic, thank you very much, Christy. Yes, Venom and then Christy's Creations, Creations by Christy, are having premieres after the live. Now, the live is scheduled to finish at four o'clock, which is 40 minutes away, and hopefully that we will definitely finish by then because I would love you, and uh, Darren is gonna put his um, link in the in the live chat. Oh, Leslie Starkey, thank you so much, Leslie. I've just seen your sticker. Thank you so much, that's so generous. Yeah, Darren is gonna put his link to his premiere in the live chat, so when we finish here, you guys can click that link and that will take you to YouTube, to his, uh, and there you can subscribe and you can watch his premiere and he's gonna have a live chat there. And then when Darren has finished, am I getting it right, Christy? You are then got the premiere after Darren. So Darren's premiere is at 4 p.m. and Christy's is at 4.15. What? 15 minutes after Darren's. And don't worry if you don't subscribe to Christy because in Darren's live chat, Christy will be there and she will give you the link to her premiere that follows Darren's, okay guys? So please don't forget, click on that link that Darren is putting in the live chat right now and that will take you to his premiere which will happen in 40 minutes. So, so, Oh, ah, oh, now we have, we, we have the retribution and the our divine Wombat's paper. Twerk. Wombat's got to twerk too then, has he? Okay, well, if Wombat's going to twerk, I'm going to, uh, hang on, see if I can get this. And that's it. I don't know if it worked. I haven't twerked for ages. It's something that I was taught at a festival many years ago. But there you go. I did just try to twerk a little bit for you. So Wombat, come on, don't let the boys down, Wombat. We want to see you get a bit of the twerk, twerk, twerk. <laughs> shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. I can see all of the messages are coming up so much. It's... Oh gosh, guys, if you're having a good time and if you're enjoying this, yeah, if the joy pouring is bringing you guys some joy, 
Please, please, tell your friends, tell everybody you know, share the joy of pouring with everyone because we have such a good time on a Sunday afternoon. It would be a, share, a shame not to let others in on it. So please, please, let everybody know, okay? So there we go. That's the gauntlet thrown down of a bad twerk by Frosty. So we've got to see a, a, a wombat twerk now. But we're going to point the camera down a bit. I'm going to carry on waffling and we're going to pick some colours. So we've got the McCool there. I'm going to put the green with it, I think. And now we need two uh, chew paints. Right, so I know Christy love a de purple. So we've got to put a de purple for Christy. And look at this. Look at that purple and green. Ooh. <laughs> now, now we need another chew paint. So we could use... We've got, um, I remember this is a quinacridone crimson with some interference red in it. We could use that. Or we could use this um, golden, and this is the light phthalo blue. Or we could use a, uh, this is prism violet by Liquitex. Or we could use uh, this little puppy. Uh, oh, that's another pigment though. We could just throw three pigments in and a tube and see what goes on, I suppose, could we? Do you guys want to see that? Or should we put the blue in? Blue or the pink? What do we think? Yeah, or I could try and get, this is a PBO iridescent blue black. I could try and get this one working because this is always a nice little interference paint as well. So maybe that, those colors, or take out the green and put in the pink. What should we do? No green, <laughs> Venom says no green. Okay, okay, brilliant. Oh, not just, not just Darren saying no green, okay. Green, this is, this is um, Seaweed by uh, TLP, but okay, shh, shh, it's out of there, it's gone. So, okay, so, so what do we want? The pink in there? Do we want to use the blue black or the light phthalo blue or all of them? I'm really not sure, guys, because I'm going to, like I say, I'm going to have to rejuvenate three of them, and I'm not sure how well that's going to go. And it's going to make for really interesting results for next week's canvas, isn't it? We're going to see how well uh, the paints actually stand up and see if we get some melting or, uh, you know. It's, it's <laughs> people want all of them, except for the green. Okay, brilliant, all of them. We're using all of them. So I'm just going to... I'm going to just work off the tape, work off this right now, and we are going to try. No black. Yeah, no black. No, yeah. Van is just telling me people are saying no black, so we're not going to, not going to use any black. Right now, let's just look at the consistency of this one. This is the McCaw, the interference green, uh, gold, green, and blue. So I'm trying to stir it up nicely because with pigments, the mica is heavier and will sink to the bottom of the pot. So you've got to very gently kind of stir it up and get all that mica mixed back in without stirring in too many bubbles. But there we go, guys. There's my consistency. I would say that's pretty damn beautiful. See, it just holds up for about a second, leaves a little trace and then just falls back in on itself on the surface tension. That looked good, Christy. Brilliant. So that's the consistency we're gonna try and aim for with these puppies here, okay? So let me just get another one and let's see how thick this one is. Oh, now, believe it or not, I don't know if you can see that, it's pretty difficult to see, but there you go. You can see it's drizzling off the stick really nicely. I might have used this one last week or something because uh, it hasn't, it's really actually, that's perfect. So we're going to leave that one. Excellent. Now let's get on to the, um, this is the Fairy Floss TLP. And uh, it's a beautiful kind of goldy pink. It's pink with a gold flash. So let's just look at the... Now, I hope you can see that because of the color. Wow. See, now this is, 
I am really shocked. To me, you see, well, there we go. To me, that looks pretty damn good. Now let's just leave these and test how this is gonna come out. And so everyone that's really watching, you know, it's gonna be really interesting next week to see the dried results. Because even though, you know, the, these two, I must have used them recently, like last week or something, I can't quite remember, for them to be still that good. But here we go. Check out the PBO. <laughs> Can you see that one, Christy? Yeah, that's just a bit thick. So we're definitely gonna put a little bit of the Joe in there. Now, always start off just with a little bit, you know, the old, old saying, we can add more, you can't take it away. So we're just gonna go bloop, literally with just that much Joe Sonia in there. Maybe like half a dozen drops. Yeah, it's really goopy. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to save this. Well, there you go, but yeah, it's very goopy. I don't know if we're wasting Joe Sonia <laughs> trying to make this paint good again. I think maybe we might be. Oh, hey, brother. My brother, we've just, Christy's just told me in my ear that Sheldon, Rowdy Bean is back. Hi there, Sheldon. How are you doing, buddy? And you missed the twerking, but you missed the. I can't see what is being said, but I can imagine it's it's funny. I am this. It's on. All the guys are going to be twerking now, are they? Um, this. Oh, I don't know if we should use this. It's. Yeah, it's it's. I feel if we use this, it's just yeah yeah. It's really gloopy. No, that's dead. We're going to call it when it gets like this, guys. Just no, you know. Look at it. Yeah, yeah. When it's like this, guys, get rid of it. Thank you very much, Vanna, my dear. So let's see. I don't know if we're going to be able to get this one working. Uh, this is the light phthalo blue. All right, this is... Oh, there we go. It's quite thick, but it's not goopy. See what I mean? It's still drizzling, guys. It's not lumpy and like like that last one. So I'm going to just going to put, there we go. Few drops of Joe Sonia in there. Get it going. And I think we might be able to use this one. It's just that, that PBO iridescent blue black, that was just so goopy. It wasn't good. Hey, there we go. Oh yeah. Excellent. Now I'd say that consistency is pretty damn good. And when I'm mixing, I'm trying really def uh, eat, I'm trying very hard not to scrape the sides of the pot so we get dry paint in there, guys. But here we go. Yeah, this one is good. We're going to use this one. And uh, this is probably the last time that I can uh, rejuvenate these paints and get them get them working again. So after this, if we don't use them all, uh, I, I've been asked questions. Is it best to mix up? Whoop, here we go, hi friends. There. Hi Sheldon, hi brother. Is it best to mix up new colors for each time? If you can afford to do so, yes it is, because each time you mix them up, you're going to, uh, you've got a far better chance, you're gonna mix them all up to the same ratio, to the same viscosity, to the same thickness, and you're gonna have that nice consistency is key element, which we've been on about since show one, okay guys? But yes, let's just give these, it's a little tappity tap. So we have got, here we go. Da, 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 da. The lineup is uh, the TLP McCaw, and we have got this, uh, I'm gonna call this, I think it's either gonna be Prism Violet or that's Dioxazine Purple. I think, I'm gonna say Dioxazine Purple actually, because uh, the Violet usually, Dioxazine, yeah, Christy's, Christy says in, the, in my ear, Probably the dioxazine. Uh, then we've got the fairy floss, okay, the lovely one. And then we've got the phthalo light blue by Golden. Okay, excellent. We just give them a little tap like this. And all the air bubbles that we just put into them, mixing them back up, just pop nicely. Okay then, friends. So let me just uh, straighten the camera a little bit. Oop, 
whoop, 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 whoop. there we go. And I can get the spinner in the shot. Beautiful. And we can get on with this twerk in bloom. So have I got to twerk while I'm blooming? <laughs> Vanna said, Vanna, did you say no? Oh, Vanna said, I don't think so. You've already done it. But Christy says in my ear, yes, you've got it. <laughs> Mitch and Wombat said if you add a drop of water inside, it will be fine. Mitch and Wombat said as water. Okay, hang on a second. One second. They paid for it. What, right. Twerk, they paid for it. Okay, they paid for it. I'm going to twerk. It's going to be hard to kind of, I'm going to be twerking like this while doing that, <laughs> it's gonna make it difficult because you gotta move, you know, it's a whole body thing while you're twerking. <laughs> uh, brilliant, right, okay, it might be a bit of a challenge, says Christy in my ear hole, yeah, absolutely, but I will do the best, you know, dance monkey dance, we paid for it, we wanna see you dance. Okay then, friends, so here we go, it's the six inch cradle, okay? And for those of you who don't know what a cradle is, a cradle is just like a canvas with a frame, but rather than a piece of canvas stretched over it, it's a piece of plywood, plywood like that. And if you wanted to see, this is how I mask up the backs of my little cradles, because the uh, masking tape sticks really nicely to the wood and gives a great seal, and you can pull that off when you're done. When you're actually finished pouring, you let it dry, and then you can even leave this on for resining, and then when it's resined, then pull it off, and it gives you this beautiful, nice, clean line. Okay, so that was a quick little waffle about cradles. Now let's just center up our little six inch cradle here, and uh, I do this with the X that goes from corner to corner of my board. It's really handy, helps you center, uh, any size canvas really is really quite a good trick. But well, there we go, here we go. So let's get some of pillow paint. Now, which one have I been using? This one, I believe. Now, don't get excited. This is not color to go. I just use the old, yes. I was there, Christy just says it will be. Oh, wow, Bridget, Bridget, Bridget M. B, is that you? Did you just give me that sticker, B? Oh, Bridget, darling. <clears throat> You're very kind and you <clears throat> you bring a lump to my throat. Thank you, darling. You're part of the team. You don't have to do that, but mm, thank you. Where do you get cradles and do you have to prime them? Oh, I've got some questions. Let's get some questions. Come on then, quick. Leslie Starkey, where do you buy cradles? Right, ha right hang on a second. Right, one thing. Vanna? Right. Brilliant. So Christy just said to me, I just caught the end of it, uh, my little earpiece cut out for a second. Dimensions of the spinner board. Brilliant. The dimensions of the spinner board is 20 inches square. Okay. And let's just flip it over and you can see how I did it. See, 20 inches square. And we know the top of these spinners is uh, 12 inches, I believe. So that means we've got four inches this side and four inches that side. So all I did was get the 20 inch square board and then measure in four inches here, four inches here, four inches here and here, and just drew a line, yeah? So four inches there, draw a line, four inches here and here, draw a line, four inches here, draw a line, draw a line, and that will give you a square, which you can't really see anymore because the spinner is stuck over it. But you then line the spinner up with that square and that helps you get the spinner directly in the middle of the board and makes it work really nicely. Okay. Do I have to prime them? Um, my cradles? Yes. Yep, cradles, the wooden cradles, some of the more expensive ones or better quality ones, I get all of my cradles from the dollar store. They're really affordable. Sometimes they can wrinkle and warp, but generally, you know, nine times out of 10, they're pretty good. But uh, even the ones that say you don't have to prime them, if it's bare wood, as a painter and decorator that Vanna and I are, bare wood always, always wants to be primed. And then a very light little sand down afterwards, and they're good to go, okay? Brilliant, so we've got to get on with this because in, in, in 
less than in 23 minutes it's Darren's premiere and then it's Christie's premiere so Venom Fluid Art and then Creations by Christie here we go so yeah as I said this isn't uh, Colour to Go but I will share with everyone that doesn't know the news Colour to Go is coming back from Sherwin-Williams it will be in Canada in the next two weeks and it will be in the States I believe if I'm getting this right in the next four weeks four to eight weeks in the States but Colour to Go is coming back it's so good and I won't have to keep the canting my Glidden. This is Glidden uh, Premium Satin, by the way. And we're going to add down here probably about one, two ounces of pillow paint. Okay, guys? At the most, there's two ounces. That actually looks a little bit too much to me. But we're going to do this twerking bloom, twerking bloom, twerking bloom. How can I, I? There you go. You see, I can get the bit. Oh, no. I can't get them both in the shot at the same time. What do you want? <laughs> do you want me to twerk while I was spinning? <laughs> right, okay, I'm just gonna evenly move the paint around on the little cradle a little bit here, guys, just to make the pillow nice and even. There we go, excellent. And let's just get my little craft knife, palette knife, and we're just gonna smooth the pillow out to the edges. We don't leave it. I know many people, uh, Shelley Carruthers being one of them, leaves the little puddle in the middle of her MDF rounds or her cradles. But uh, I find sometimes if you do that, it can leave a little ring left that kind of only shows itself after your piece is dried. And sometimes we like texture, sometimes we don't like texture. Okay then friends, so here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. We're going to do piggy paint, piggy paint, okay? So let's try, we're going to put the pink down first. Oh, one second, friends. Before I do any of that, I've got to make sure I've got some cell activator. <laughs> now, all I've got is white now and some really, really old, um, this is permanent blue violet. So we're not going to use that. We're going to let that wash out and change that. But we're going to get our white out. And we're going to give our cell activator a stir up. If you guys are wondering what the cell activator is, it's Amsterdam standard acrylic paint and Australian Floetrol. And I mix mine three to one. Three parts Australian Floetrol, one part Amsterdam paint. And this is titanium white. And we always want to stir it up because sometimes it can separate a little. So we're going to put the pink down first. Let's just be nice with it. Da, da, da. Lovely, beautiful colour, fairy floss. There we go, and you can see, guys, where I'm just drizzling it on. It stays up for about a second and then just falls back in on itself. So I am going to use the purple next. So there we go, the dioxazine purple. Now, dioxazine purple, I believe, without looking at my little pot, it is uh, transparent. So this is going to be great because the purple is going to, you're going to see through the purple to the colours below, to that pink, which is going to be lovely. Now we're going to give a nice, healthy helping of Macaw, the interference green, gold and blue. And I always go a bit over top with the interference colours because I can't help myself, as I'm sure Wombat will agree, and G, oh, anyone really. Interference colors, they're so beautiful. And if you don't know what an interference color is, it's a transparent uh, pigment and mica. As you can see, it kind of looks a bit goldy there. It looks white, really white, when you pour it. It dries transparent and it adds a shimmer of color to the colors you see below it. That's what an interference pigment is. Now we're just gonna put a little thin drizzle of the uh, light phthalo blue by Golden. Only a thin bit, that's enough, because that one is opaque. And I know people think, oh, you can't use opaque in the end of a bloom. Yes, you can. You can do anything. You can use all piggies in a bloom if you want, but you just got to know how to do it. And I know our brother Darren Wombat knows all about that and is brilliant. So I'm eagerly awaiting his video that's going to come after this when I stop talking. Right, we've got 19 minutes now. Oh, that's loads of time. 19 minutes before their premiere. <laughs> that's loads of time. We can get some more running man in. Oh, you could do the old, um, the, do you know this one? Big fish, little fish, cardboard box. Big fish, little fish, cardboard box. 
Uh, that's how we used to dance in the in the late eighties in Britain. Anyway, right. Stop talking. Let's get on with this little bloom here before it all sinks and goes to poop. Right. So white cell activator. Just going to pour a little bit on. We don't need a hell of a lot. Oh, there we go. That's maybe a bit bit too much. But let's see. Excuse the back of my head, my friends. There we go. And let's just go nice and close so you guys can see. Oops, trying to get it straight. Oh gosh. When we get a better setup, guys, I promise it will be better. And then you'll be able to view from different angles. You'll have an overhead view and then you'll have a side view. And as I've mentioned before, I'd really love to get little windows so you can see all the co-hosts as well. You can hear what Christy is saying to me in, in my ear as a true <laughs> co-host would be. But here we go, guys, look at that. That's really quite pretty, isn't it? Look, we've got some lovely little, little cells there. Is it nicely in focus, Christy? I'm just gonna give it a blow there in the middle, try and break up the activator. There we go. When we do that, guys, we wanna just very gently very gently blow the cell activator away just so you see the colors and then stop and as we can see we get those little cells popping up so what did we, uh, what was the end result what did you want me to do to this bloom do you want me to wreck it do you want me to modify it i mean really i mean wrecking and modifying wrecking is just where you go uh crazy with the you know you just kind of put lines yeah, wreck it, right? Just put lines over it everywhere, crazy. Or do you want to see me give it a frosty mod? What would you like, friends? Now, you're going to have to tell, tell Christy, and Christy's going to tell me in my ear because the camera is pointing down and I am waffling on. But I'm just, I'm just wetting the edges, guys, and for anyone joining us that doesn't know, <laughs> lollipop it yeah I, I, you're gonna have to tell me what that is lollipop it you mean put a line in it so it looks like a lollipop ah lollipopping it yeah 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 the uh, spherical spiral in it so what would you like to see guys do you want me to do some frosty mods on it do you want me to do lollipop it do you want me to just crazily wreck it well what I'm going to do right now is just hold it up and move it around and see if you guys can see the interference pigments working. <laughs> blueberries, blueberries. Oh, oh, speaking of blueberries, speaking of blueberries, speaking of blueberries, um, I've learned how to say gouache, Bridget. Are you all happy with me? It's gouache. It's G, yeah, I've been told it's not gouache, as I was told a little while ago. I'm sure someone was having a laugh with me. You pronounce it gouache, just wash with a g, gouache. That's how I was told it's gouache, wash with a G. Yeah, Heather says gouache, yeah, gouache is better. We're gonna say gouache on this show. Right, what do you want me to do to this bloom before it all sinks and it all goes to pot? What do you want me to do? Lollipop it? Do you want me to do some frosty mods? What would you want? Brilliant, okay, we're, we're gonna do some frosty mods, okay? So we're gonna join in here, okay? And I'm gonna do them all the way around the edge and you're gonna see how I do them in one unbroken line, okay, friends? So I see there's not much cells here, there's some cells here, there's little bits around that I wanna keep and there's bits that I don't mind to modify. So I'm gonna come in here and go around, whoopsie whoops, twice in that one, grab that little one, come around here, go around twice, change direction, grab that bit, Go this one. The slow rhythmical movement of the hands, the cursive handwriting. Christy. But 
there we go, my friends, okay? That's how you do the Frosty modifications, or you know, that's not really Frosty mods, that's just modifications, you know? Frosty mods, we need the lines for it. But anyway, that's enough of me chit-chatting. Oh, we've still got 13 minutes before your premiere, so you can listen to me. We're gonna, we're gonna make this show last the two hours, or I'm gonna stop a minute before so everyone has time to get to the next premiere, which is Darren's, and then don't forget Christie's after that. So, done the mods, I'm gonna give it a spin, Leaving the spin in real time, guys, so you see how long and how fast. Okay, guys, so Christy, I don't know if you can hear me, you've lost you in my ear. That's gone a bit funny. But there we go, guys. Just catching the drips with my finger. And oh, wow. I don't think she's... Uh, she's not in my ear anymore. Have you lost the connection, Vanna? Here we go, guys, but I'm going to give you a close-up of the little piece. There we go, it's a pretty little bloom. Have we still got much movement? Let's have a look. All right, there's still a little bit of movement, guys. Oh, Sheldon, did you just send a sticker? You diamond, you legend, Sheldon, you're so generous, my friend. Wow, thank you, thank you. And again, thank you to everybody that sent stickers and sent super chats and things like that. It means the world to us here at The Joy of Pouring. And uh, as I've said before, it helps us get more materials so we can do more of these funny shows and keep you guys entertaining, entertained and laughing. So uh, it's slightly still a little bit of movement. So let's give it the anti-clockwise. And as you can see, guys, it's not a super huge fast spin. And we want to leave it spinning just for a while to give the paint a good chance to flow right over the edges. And I catch the excess drips with my fingers just here. Oh, wow. There we go. There's a little bloom. And as you can see, we've still got just some of the modifications around the edge. But I think we've got some, we've got some pretty, pretty little cells there. We've got some, almost got some jelly beans right there to to coin the jelly bean phrase, but I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna give you a little, see if I can get the uh, interference pigments to do their magic. Let's get a bit closer, there we go. How's that looking, Christy, is that good? There we go. So for some rejuvenated paints, they seem to work really well. They've reacted beautifully uh, with each other and the cell activator here. We've got some nice definition. Uh, we will see if I manage to get the consistency close enough to each other that we're not gonna get any warping or any melting. Now, as we know, with the, uh, as we've mentioned before in the show, sometimes where the paint is left a little too thick, it can what we call warp or melt and we don't retain this nice cell structure. It kind of goes all a little bit wonky and wobbly and is not really what we're after. But um, yeah, some people like that style and it's absolutely fine and great because there are no rights and wrongs in this art form. There is only experimentation and finding out what works really well. But ah, I'm starting to get a little flash of the macaw there. I can kind of see it flashing underneath the cells there. Excellent. So there we go, my friends. So there is a quick little bloom using some old paints that really, well, as we know, the, uh, let's just get it, let's just get the camera pointing up. There we go. So as we know, guys, uh, like that, um, like the PBO iridescent black, blue black that I tried to tried to rejuvenate. It was just too lumpy. And so when you've got just a tiny amount, like that much, there we go. I don't know what this pigment was. Oh, I think I do. Yes, this is a twinkle. So it's an interference uh, violet and blue. But as you can see, it's so thick. It's really no good, no good for anyone. And if you use, you know, mix up some new colors and then you throw this one in the mix, because the thickness and the consistency isn't there, it's gonna just throw all of your cells off and it's gonna go wonky. So if you've got that much paint, oh, it bites, it, it really hurts. Oh no, it's not, it's glisten, it's green blue, I've just seen. But yeah, throw it away, guys. Just clean your little pot. It's not gonna, it probably won't work very well, ah, if at all. So. 
Let me just have a drink of water. Are there any questions, Christy, or anything like that that I can help you lovely people with? Okay, right, so what we're gonna do, people are having trouble seeing Wombat's link to his premiere, which is gonna be in eight minutes. So I'm gonna cut this short so you guys can go and find him. So what you need to do, uh, I'm gonna suggest that maybe one of us co-hosts post Darren's link to his premiere in acrylic pouring for beginners, and then pin it to the top so it's a feature. And if you can't find uh, Darren's link here in the live chat, go to acrylic pouring for beginners and we will have the link for it up there in the featured section. Or failing that, go to YouTube and just search in the top bar, Venom, and that's spelled V-E-N-O-M, Venom Fluid Art, and that will bring up uh, Wombat's channel. Then click on the channel, and it will take you there, and it will show you that a premiere is about to happen. You can click on the premiere, and you can be there. And I guess I could have been, hang on, I don't know, I can't believe I'm doing this. I could have been twerking the whole time that I was saying that. Could have been, yeah. There you go. That's my, that, that's, yeah. I don't have enough junk in the trunk to really get it, fucking real, to really get it, um, really get it twerking like that. But is everybody okay and good for the link to Jack Darren's premiere, premiere and your premiere, Christy, after Darren's at quarter past four? So is it everything? You're a nut, says Amber Johnson. Thank you, Amber. You've got to be crazy. That's why we call our group on Facebook. We affectionately refer to it as the acrylic crazy train. So yeah, you've got to be crazy. Someone else calls me a nut. Crystal Mason is laughing. Absolutely. You know, if you can't laugh at yourself, you know, how can you have fun? It was my first attendance live. Most fun I've had folding laundry. I Whoever said, I missed who it was, the, the, it went up too quickly. George Ann, you're welcome, George Ann. Tina Wheaton, thank you, Jean. Uh, Tina. Lynn, thank you, Lynn. Jackie Vaughan, thank you. Janice. Oh, the messages are coming through faster than I can actually read them out. So thank you guys so much. You really, you make, you help make this show what it is. Thank you to all of my wonderful uh, co-hosts, Christy, Darren, G and Bridget. Thank you guys for all of you wonderful guys watching and supporting, watching our little show here. And we will see you guys next Sunday at 2 p.m. Same place. Okay, my friends, don't forget Wombat and Christie's premieres happening right now. They're going to post the links in the live chat and I shall see you guys right there. Thank you so much and happy pouring, guys. <laughs>